feel pretty successful. So this is the front of my bike, the right turning signals, brake light, left side of my bike, um, switch with the right left turn signal, horn, I guess I could hook that up if I wanted to, but I don't really have it right now, and then my high and low. And then here's my fuse panel. Um, it would have one more fuse um, hooked up, this 7.5 amp going off to the um, coils and points, but and the stator, but um, or no, just the coils and points. I'm sorry, the stator and the regulator rectifier, or uh, would be actually powering this unit instead of a battery. I'm just using battery as a hypothetical um, motorcycle that's running. Um, yeah, so they go out to my bike. Um, I would turn the key, which is right here, and when I turn it, the lights wouldn't be on yet because obviously I don't have a battery in it. But then I would kick it over, and that would give it just enough spark to send some juice to the coils and the points, and start the or start the motorcycle. Um, so I'm just showing that I've got all the everything set up right. So turn the key here. It's on my running lights. Um, I have my headlight set up, so it's always going to be running. Um, I have my brake switch in line, so there's the brake. Um, I have the highs and lows hooked up. Here's the ceiling. There's high, there's low. And then my right and left take a right hand turn. And there's my uh, signal relay. Take a left. Here's my left hand. Yeah, and I'm just using this metal bar as ground. Um, that's hypothetically going to be the motorcycle once you ground out to one part of the motorcycle or initially the frame. Um, that that will be, allow you to ground to everything else on the frame and it should all work as one unit. But uh, yeah, there it is. I've got it all drawn up. Um, I got some spray liquid tape for once I actually um, get everything wired on the bike. I'll, I'll spray everything down, all the connections. Um, I also got a couple of feet or 16 feet of shrink wrap, a couple different sizes. Just I want to do this right the first time and not have to deal with it again. But uh, I can go into a little depth here. Um, so um, I'll attach a, a image what I used to um, base my lighting system off. But I can quick draw up what um, how you go batteryless. So you got your engine, um, I'm a terrible drawer, so, engine, um, come on, focus now, there we go, and then you put your stator in there, gosh, I'm in terrible lighting. So you put your stator in your engine. I'll just draw this in. So it looks like a stator. Um, that has three wires coming out of it. One, two, three. <clears throat> and then I bought a regulator rectifier from Dime City Cycle, or not Dime City, I'm sorry, from um, Oregon. Oregon Cycles or something like that, Oregon, something like that, it was a while ago, um, that has, so we'll draw this here quick, I 
can show you these when I'm done with the video. But this has three yellow wires that come out of it. And, and essentially you connect those three together. And then this also has a red wire coming out of it and a black. Um, that's explanatory, self-explanatory. This is ground, your black is, and then your red um, is what I'm going to feed to. So once this is started, um, this will feed at, at full uh, throttle, typically around 14.4 volts. <clears throat> and so I will connect that straight to my fuse panel instead of, well, first I guess I'll, it'll go straight to my switch for my um, ignition and then the orange is my switched so once I have that turned it'll give it this power and so um, after that uh, what haven't I shown you so that gives me power so then after that I take my red and that goes to this and then um, I'm gonna take one either one or two uh, different powers out of here I might just switch out one of these 10 amps for a 7.5 amp and just run two different powers to my points or not my points I'm sorry my coils um, these two orange is for power so I think I'll just do seven and a half amps two different fuses straight to this and then the my white and my black wire here go to my points um, this is the I got a new stator just because I was told to beef it up a little bit got this one from uh, Rick's power Sport. yeah Rick's electric so it's really nice um, got some good reviews, good quality. So there's your three coming out of your stator that are just all going to have some good power coming out of it. And then here's the regulator rectifier that I bought from um, Oregon. Maybe it's on the sheet in here. One second here. This is um, the regulator rectifier, and what this does is takes in power and distributes it without being um, sh too like sharp of power, like. Spiked, that's what I'm going for, spiked power. Um, real quality of this place here, I, the name of it's in here. It's really hard to do one handed by the way. Oregon Motorcycle Parts, that's what it is. Highly, highly recommend them. Uh, they were quick when I asked them a few different questions on replying. Um, you know, uh, he builds all of his own um, parts that he sells right in shop they're all real quality um, this is what it is you got to put this to the ground as well the back of this to the ground on the bike or to the frame and I actually went and bought this today this bar here that I'm just gonna weld a few different places for some brackets and whatnot and I'll, I'll make a bracket out of that for this but anyway um, this is your regulator rectifier I got for my my motorcycle 425 uh, Suzuki. I got the VRF. What is that? VRF M35 or M3S. That's what I got the M3S right there. So highly recommend them. I can put a link in the video. Um, just comes with some. This they also suggest that you just replace your regulator in, in older motorcycles and so this is just if you were to take it out um, take out your old regulator rectifier and put in a new one so that's that like I said real high quality he says that they can take up to some ridiculous amount of power comparatively uh, comes with shrink wrap on it comes with a 
whole different bag of um, goodies. Some Allen head bolts in there. Anyway, um, I check my stuff frequently, so if you guys want to ask any questions, you can. Um, what can else can I say? I'm doing this all in my living room of my two-story apartment. Got my cafe racer back there. So, alright. Everyone have a good day, and we'll see you later.